Okay, so I'm sorry. Let me continue on. Um, what this overall energy is for this one is, is that although this woman, the overall energy is, is this woman, this divine feminine is all doing her own thing. However, she's into her thoughts. She's getting more knowledge. She's kind of, you could say she's working on herself. And uh, because of that work that she's doing, she's connecting herself to the divine masculine. And it's kind of helping and giving that synergy or that uh, energy off from each other. And so the red rose provides an additional point of connection that binds them. So it's the beauty of the connection that combines both of them. I really honestly don't see this rose. Where's that rose at? Yeah, this is number 29. Yeah, I don't... Mm, okay, but it says the rose. I've seen everything else but that. Okay, so... Yeah, the red rose that connects them. And something given and received. So it said it is a token, a gift, something given and received, something shared. So again, that's the connection. The connection between both of them is what binds both. And so that's the overall thing. I mean, emotionally, since this is a female, it has to be emotionally. It looks like it's almost keys right here. So emotionally, that is what binds and ties both of them together. That Again, that heart-to-heart -heart connection. I see heart-to-heart -heart conversation, but every time when I see it, I see it's a heart-to-heart -heart connection as well um, for that. Two times. Interesting. Okay, um, let me go on with that one. Uh, behave, and I said no other energies up in here, too, on that. Okay, so now, um, let me do this. Clear. To the canopy, to the hearts of night. Do 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 what does this divine masculine have to say to the divine feminine? Oh, ooh, I say, oh, wait a second. I did say, what is he working on surrendering to to make this happen? Clear? Man, I got to see how I can put this all together here. Doo, 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 doo. So this divine masculine is um, working on some surrendering to creativity. He's letting his imagination tell him what he needs to do as far as his strategy. And he's going to surrender to the magic of who he is, which is him being divine. Uh, this uh, creativity, let your imagination soar, stay open to all creative ideas abroad, how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. And then also... How he's going to surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us. Even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being. With a uniqueness and worth. That come from just being you. And again. Like I said. Him being divine. Get out of that colorless angel mode. Remember that you're divine. Remember you're the magician. That can help make things happen. And manifest. Uh, you've got to work with those things. Um, because. Uh, at the same time, that's, uh, remember, work the work, do the things, come up with the strategy, but then also remember that you got to make room for the divine to also play a role as well in the whole situation, okay? Um, clear. Now, what do you want to say to the divine feminine, this one, and Mission Impossible guy? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Okay, so to me, in some ways, what he's saying is that you got to make sure that you love um, not even only yourself, but also make sure that while you're doing that, you love this divine masculine deeply because in some ways he's saying that's going to kind of power me 
to be able to do the moves that I need to do. Remember that you are the leader. You are the guiding of this relationship. And if you kind of wishy-washy, that causes him to be wishy-washy. So you got to kind of keep that things in mind as well. And then also, you know, you're just putting out that out into the universe, out into ethers, this divine love, this loving things. Keep your vibration high. That's going to help him in turn, okay? Uh, that is it. Uh, remember, if you like readings like this, yeah, I did this already. If you like readings like this, please keep in mind that I am holding a $15 special for 30 minutes. Uh, that's anything that you want me to look into. If you want to look into your career, you want me to look into your purpose, uh, you want to look at your karmic situation or just love or you want to feel like my family. Okay, no. Uh, you want to do family issues or whatever you want me to look into. Uh, I am able to do that. I did one on here lately. I did one on karmic in my first one, uh, karmic. Things that we need to work on on that. What we need to do to work on to be a leader. Uh, and on the other day, I did um, your inner child issues too. So if you want me to look into that, what things you need to heal, I can look into that as well. Um, this Saturday, I will have at 11 o'clock Central, I will be hosting my third webinar. This one is... Because I'm happy. Uh, this one is going to focus in on how you can be happy regardless about what kind of curves life throw at you. And so that would be a really good thing for you to be in. It's from usually from 11 to 12. It's just an hour of your time from 11 to 12. That's central time to do that. It is free. It's live. I'll probably put a reminder up on Friday letting you know about that. I'm also having a $17.17 $17, $17 sale for early birds those of you all that want copies of the powerpoints that i have so there'll be five powerpoints because this series is going all the way into august the third uh powerpoints uh, from each one of the webinars that i host and then also ha i will give you a um workbook um that i'll be working on jupiter 11 11 is going to help me uh, work on as well so that will really help you as far as trying to get yourself together uh, I call it get the keys uh, um, thing package which is um, get, uh, what is what was it I got to remember what it is for yourself I forgot what I had it was cute and catchy but anyway um, I think I put it on one of the things for the community what did I say it was it said be a picture. Okay. All right. Whatever. 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 Baby. Whatever. 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 Bye bye, baby. That's one of my favorite songs for Maxwell. I'm in a Maxwell mood. What did I write? Because I'm trying to see what that was. What a Yeah, here it is. The keys. Get the keys means keep energizing yourself, right? Keep energizing yourself for union, okay? So if you keep on doing that, that will help you. What is that? Okay, wait. Well, I'm being nosy. What? What? Oh, okay. Um, that would help you get into union. Yeah. Keep energizing yourself. That's the keys. They energize yourself and meanwhile until you get. So you got you be 11, 11. You go there and you hit the gym and you with me. You hit the gym because hers is early first from 10 to 11. So you go to her. She's going to give you some things about manifestation. With that, that goes along also with the hit the gym package that she's offering uh, as well into union. And then our minds, the thing what I'm doing afterwards from 11 to 12, from that point on, then I'm giving you the keys, which is keeping it, keep energizing yourself until for union. So that's what we're doing because we got to keep ourselves kind of motivated and elevated and, and all that stuff. Almost going into it. So I guess that's my time. <laughs> and they're like, Timmy, your time up. All right then. So, okay. And so until next time. Stay elevated, stay motivated, stay ascended. Namaste, namago.